breakfast time. Yeah, breakfast. Good morning. <laughs> so I've got one very hungry little kitty here. And I'm just going to get him his food sorted. He likes to be nosy when I'm up here. What are you doing? Oh dear. So, let's get him sorted, shall we? So in here we've just defrosted a little bit of raw food. Um, I can't remember how many grams it is now, but we've tried to ratio it out and fast where it would. Can you hear him? <laughs> He's climbing up my leg. We try to portion it out so that, um, oh Echo, I know, I'm the worst, aren't I? I oh, know, not long, just one second, one second. We've portioned it out so that he's still going to eat some biscuits too, um, but the majority of his calories are coming from his wet food because I want to make sure he's drinking enough. And I've also been mixing in a little water with this as well, just to make sure... He's definitely drinking. And um, we ordered a, a little cat water fountain today, so I'm hoping that will come at some point. Right, well that looks thoroughly disgusting. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. <laughs> oh, oh, yum. Is it for Echo? It's grooming time. Bless him. I usually let him lick himself first and then I go in with this brush. He's very fluffy so he needs brushing. We think twice a day and we don't seem to get any hair transfer onto our clothes and things so I mean that's good so far. Good boy. Good boy. It's so cute when his little nose gets wet. So you'll have to excuse my appearance, I've definitely been in a kitten bubble for the last three days and I am in desperate need of a shower and to wash my hair, but I thought I would update you all on how Echo is doing and I thought it'd be really fun today to share a day in Echo's life. It's going to change constantly because he's always growing and he's learning so much more every single day. So just yesterday we taught him how to use the stairs. Up until that point we've been carrying up and down like a baby. Um, but we weren't sure if he was big enough to really conquer them. And if I'm honest, our stairs freaked me out a little bit. And this morning he did exactly what I didn't want him to do when he jumped off about halfway. <laughs> just made this like squeak noise. <laughs> but he'll learn, you know, he'll learn what he's what are you doing. There you go. There you go. He'll learn what he can and can't do. Um, he's just definitely an adventure cat this morning. So I found that after he's eaten, he gets a little burst of energy and then he'll just go into his deep sleep food coma. <laughs> he slept for about three hours yesterday afternoon and it was just super weird because we've not seen him do that before. Um, and an update on his health, he went to the toilet twice and I am the most proud cat mum in the world. I was panicking about him because I thought, oh my gosh, he's not been, must be awful. Um, but he's doing much better. And like I said before, we have... <laughs> he's not the best at jumping down. We are getting him um, the water, I forgot what they call it, water fountain uh, that he was used to in his last home so hopefully that will increase his water intake as well and help things go a little bit smoothly down there. He's just chasing his shadow at the minute. Echo psycho mode. What are you doing? He actually conquered this um, chair yesterday and he ran all the way up to the top and slid all the way back down. <laughs> It makes me so nervous when he gets on the edge like this because he's got no concept of edges and so he'll be really comfy and then he'll just fall off the side. He's done it about five times now. It's terrifying. I think he'll learn. I'm not really sure yet though. <laughs> if anybody else has ragdolled us that I would love to know. The other night he was in bed asleep with us and then he decided to move onto my pillow. Um, just above my head which was fine but then the next thing we heard about 10 minutes later was this almighty thump and he'd rolled just straight off onto the floor and he was just so confused bless him I would be too but he just he, he really does like dangling his head off surfaces but then what happens is he rolls his entire body and just falls off so <laughs> I'm really hoping he's gonna grow out of that because it's a bit dangerous especially with our stairs and just the many high surfaces that he likes to dangle himself off <laughs> 
this sips his new favourite toy as well. He loves it. He just keeps trying to pull it off. <laughs> Who'd have thought? The most simple toys. <laughs> Good boy. I actually put this pillow here because he was dangling off here. I'll see if I can find a picture. And funnily enough, what he did was he rolled straight off onto here, but thankfully he had a soft surface and then he just laid like a big log here. <laughs> you were silly onion, aren't you? What are you doing? Being cute and adorable. Not in mummy's heart. Oh. He's just plotting his next move. Boy. You look sleepy. Are you sleepy? I think you are, aren't you? I think someone's tired. All those stairs it must be hard work. All the toys in the world. Did it? Are you all worn out now? I think someone's a little bit tired. We've had to put a little airbag down for him because I don't trust that he's not just going to do a big roll as soon as he stretches. <laughs> with us at least. And he looks very calm and content about it. He's been running around like an absolute crazy cat all morning so I think he's a little bit tired which is exactly what we wanted. Bless him. It's just so cute. guilty um, but he's just gone in with a really nice vet and he's just having a bit of a checkup and I just kind of wanted to just make sure he was okay um, and get him all situated with the vets here they're so nice it's all a bit weird because of everything in the world right now so we're having to wait in the car park and they've just taken him in and then they're gonna check him inside and then bring him back out to us um, but yeah I'll show you him again when I see him again I feel like I've just had my arm taken away <laughs> So he's back and he's doing really well. He looks very sleepy in there. He um, he went into the vets and the vet came back out and just told us how he'd done and he said he's a really good natured cat. In fact, one of the other vets got him out and had a cuddle and we took a picture. Can we put it on the vet Facebook page? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I just think he's so funny. He's just the cutest, most sweetest cat I've ever known. What a little guy, posing for the vets. Right, let's head home. Oh, <laughs> a little wow. head just rolls out of the gate. Hello. <coughs> good boy, Echo. Good boy. Oh, that's a good stretch. Mm. You feel like a caged animal. <laughs> good boy. 
Good boy, Echo. Oh, has it been a tiring day? Oh, look at him. I think someone's had a bit of a stressful day. I put my coat down and he's gone, gone on it to go to sleep. It's time to wake up. Time to wake up. You don't reckon much to that, do you? That's it. Kill the coat. Kill that coat. Good boy. Shy. <laughs> Look at his belly. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> he did a great job at the vets today. Oh, oh little boy. Still not sure he's forgiven us yet. He seems a bit subdued, but I think he's coming back to life. He just gets in these sleepy moods and then takes a while to come around. <laughs> he's so angry when he's tired. Are you a grumpy man? He's got grumpy eyes. Mom, leave me alone! There you go in. It's like, why is the things all over the floor? Like a K explosion. <laughs> so yesterday I ordered a cat fountain from Amazon and the Amazon guy just brought it. So I'm going to put this together for Echo and hopefully it prompts him to drink a little bit more. I can't remember if I said this already, but this is what the breeder who had him before us used for all the kittens that she had. Um, so this is what he's used to, you know, the running water. I think it's to do with like it being oxygenated. Um, it, I think it's like natural instinct to want to drink that more. So yeah, I've had cats in the past that drank from like the taps, so like from the sink or the bath. And I think it's the same thing. They like the running water. So he's not really been drinking that much water from the dish unless he's really, really thirsty. He'll drink it if I like dip my finger in it and then he'll lick my finger. So yeah, I've been a bit concerned for him. So I just want to make sure he's okay. I didn't buy this to start with. Because I wasn't sure he would actually use it, but now if it means that he's gonna drink more, I don't mind. So we got the cat mate one. I would have much preferred to get him a ceramic one, but we're gonna see how this one goes and then see if it's worth it because the price difference is crazy. This one was about, well, I think it was about 20 pounds. The ceramic one was about 70, so a bit of an investment there. <laughs> Not one I was really that willing to make at this point, just in case he doesn't use it. Um, I've been mixing water with his raw food, so I mean, he's getting, he's getting water. I just, I just want him to be able to drink. So this is what it looks like. So the water comes, I don't know where it must come up, it comes up out of here and then it trickles down here and trickles down here and it makes a puddle at the bottom so he can drink from like the well or he can drink from the running water here so I'll put it together and once he's woken up from his little cat nap we can see if he likes it. Testing. <sighs> here we go. Oh yeah, it's so, good, it? so quiet, that's brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited for him. So this has got to run for two hours um, to get rid of any plastic, I don't know, Just for cleaning, residue. And yeah. and then we've got to tip this water out and put some more in and then we'll let him come to it. We're just keeping it up here out of his way <laughs> for now. That's Not really that he's good. Not bothered. It's absolutely, <laughs> excuse the mess in this house right now, but he is absolutely sock on right now. Had a hard day, little guy. Mm. in. Echo, what's this? Hey, cola. Have you got your own little water fountain? Uh, yeah. What is it? What is it, Echo? Mom, stop buying me boring toys. <laughs> I'm not thirsty Echo. right now. Look, Echo. Mom. I want to play pounce. So uh, that went as well as I expected it to. He's obviously not thirsty right now. He's just eating his tea. Um, and he's just got an adventure upstairs. So Dom's gone to retrieve him. He's getting very confident. We taught him how to go up and down the other day and he just loves doing it now. It's his favorite hobby. He actually jumped off the stairs about halfway yesterday and scared the life out of me. <laughs> So I'm hoping he's not going to continue to do that because he's got so much fluff in between his paws that he's got no grip so he just slides everywhere which is his favourite game to do as well. Um, here he comes. Dad, I just want to explore! <laughs> Echo! He says, who left these smelly socks on the stairs? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's where we jumped from. Scary. Come on. Good boy. Keep jumping. Like a little rabbit. Good boy. Come on. Oh, that last one's always hard, isn't it? Hey. Get your face in there. It's just having a little explore. It's <laughs> not sure about it. <laughs> you squeaked. <laughs> what are you running up here for? What? There you go. <laughs> Dad, you can't just leave me up there. Oh, careful. You've got to concentrate. You can't just turn around halfway down the stairs. It just clung onto the bottom step, like, oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Where are you going now? Where are you going? Oh god. What are you doing, Bubba? Hello, little head. There's a guy riding a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, good catch. <laughs> Our Jurassic kittens' batteries are running out. <laughs> they are. Are you are your lights flashing? Charge me! Charge me! It's like, uh, effort though. He's trying to do a pounce. Let's see. Wee! Good boy. He's missing it though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 for trying. Oh, the body's hit the floor. I'm all been rolling. It was the first thing that landed. Bless him. He likes going in the holes now. It's like a new game. Let's go for it. You just go all the way through. There's a wall. <laughs> Look at his little belly. You can't go back. That's cheap. <laughs> <Steve Holder. laughs> oh, where did we get this cat, honestly? <laughs> Oh, Clay turns on over yet and I'm like, hey, this is for me, mate. <laughs> Cooked dad. <Yeah. Strings dangling and echoes just jumped from a deep sleep to go and play. <laughs> the only downside of a cat when you own an Etsy business making necklaces that involve lots of strings. This is the time of day Echo goes crazy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I love how he just slides everywhere. Leave my feet alone. <laughs> Ooh, hey. <laughs> He's got no attention. 
questions. <laughs> What's this? Says, wow, this is a fun game. What have we said? Rule number one. <laughs> it hates that bottom stem. <laughs> I go. Where are you going? <laughs> crazy, crazy zoomy cat. And the rug is still seems pretty scared of the Looks like he's about to try and leap over the entire thing. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> Go on. Do He's it. gonna pounce on the glass and knock it over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what are you That's doing? That's a guilty face. What are you doing? Be careful. <laughs> must be really tiring. Go visit bedtime. Hey little guy. Go. Come on. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're being bored? <laughs> This is Echo's nightly routine. He likes to stand on this bed instead of inside of it and climb the curtains. So. Oh no. <laughs> Not that time, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Dom just saved him from the stairs. He's going down. Oh, oh no. He's still in psycho mode. <laughs> Bundle of joy? Bundle of chaos. <laughs> eh, chaos. Echo S. Chaos. What? It's bedtime. Come on. Let's do the bed thing. You're not coming out again, Mocky. Mocky, you Oh, God. That's it. You punch that door. Tell him. Huh? Escape. Escape. Right, well let's let's see how bedtime goes tonight, this little terror. Are you gonna let us go to sleep? He's like, no chance. <sighs> Mom, it's playtime. <laughs> this is his favourite game in bed. And so you'll just be getting off to sleep and then pounce. <laughs> pounce. <laughs> pounce. Pounce, pounce, pounce. <laughs> probably a terrible habit to get him into. <laughs> it's absolute quiet before the start storm and Ah calm, but so calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. A little a chaos. They say to tire them out before bed, but it just doesn't seem to tire out at this time. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> Good night, 
slight echo. So Dom's had to put a little bumper barrier up because as I said about before, he likes to roll out of bed. It's his favourite pastime. So anyway, that's us off to sleep with a very out of focus shot. <laughs> We're in a bit of a playful mood right now, aren't we? So that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've just put an attacky cat on my legs. He's in such a playful mood today. Um, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun to film and it's such an adventure with this little one. It's the first kitten I've had for, it must be like 15 years, so it's a big learning curve for us both. And it's the first kitten Dom's ever experienced, which is so lovely. He's so beautiful and playful and also soft and lovely. I'm trying not to let him play with my hands but for the sake of ending this video I thought you'd want to see his little cute face. <laughs> so I'll probably be filming more videos about Echo in the future but I'll be getting back to my normal content too because I know not everyone loves kittens and cats as much as I do. <laughs> but it's going to be so fun to watch him grow up and I can't wait to include him in more videos in the future. He'll definitely make an appearance in all of my vlogs, so if you want to see more from him, then just make sure you keep watching and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a really fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Who's this? Oh, little boy. Bye!